Cameron Quick. Connor McGill live from the press conference area here at Las Positas College. We have offensive player number 24, Nathan Robinson, and the person who had the game-winning shot, Elijah Hardy. Elijah, what was going through your head when you had that two seconds left on the clock to put in the shot? Uh, well, I fumbled it at first, but it was just like any other layup. Uh, I didn't really think too much of it. I just shot it and won the game. That was, that was really it. Coach, you started to trail towards the end towards the end of the game. What was your me the message to the team to really come back and win it? I told them at the beginning of the game it was going to be up to them. It, not really much coaching that you want to do in this game. You want to leave it up to them. And about seven minute mark, I said we're just going to go with the best five who are playing the best. I thought Nate played really well throughout the entire game, and you go with the, the senior guards, uh, you know, with with uh, Elijah and James. So they kind of took over, and you saw James's tenacity, and and uh, that, that won us a game. Now, there was a little one-on-one -on -one battle yeah. between <laughs> Zach Chappelle and James Akinjo. How entertaining was that, watching from the bench, knowing you don't have to coach and get into their head saying stop going one-on-one? Well, -on -one. it's great knowing you don't have to worry about the defensive point of view because you let those two players kind of take it on themselves and, and uh, call the timeout to settle James down. You know, hey, we still got to win the game. Uh, but the, the watch that, that's, I mean, that's what you come to these games for. Now, Elijah, on that last breakaway layup, you said you just caught it and shot it. Okay. But it seemed like you was fumbling the ball, trying to make sure time would expire because of about four seconds left on the shot clock. Would you say you were trying to stall time or you were just really uh, fumbling the ball? I would say that. I mean, I tried to uh, <laughs> make it a little dramatic, um, start a little bit. Uh, you taught you that? Nah, man. I was actually, I was actually going to dunk it at first, but it went the wrong way, and I just decided to lay it up. Uh, I didn't think he was going to jump, but he did, so. Elijah, I know you still have that hungry feeling after coming up short to Sheldon in the NorCal Finals. How do you plan to take your talent and improve the program at Washington next year and take that with you? Uh, well, Coach Hopkins and, and the crew, Co uh, Coach Conway and all them, they, they have a really good structure at Washington. Uh, they make sure you play hard at all times, win or lose, uh, you're just going to get better. And, you know, I just want to, you know, take my talents there and, and grow, uh, get stronger, um, just become more of a professional when it comes to this game. Um, so that's just how I feel, and uh, I feel like we could do some really big things with the recruits we got coming in. Uh, for Nathan, seems like you know going all the way back to your freshman year playing in the Bruce Mahoney game, you've had a knack for knocking down a shot right at the end of the first half. Happens again today. Have you lost track of how many times it's happened, and how do you manage to keep doing that? You know, last play of the first half. It's uh, like everyone knows you can hit it. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't think I'll say not that many uh, throughout the year. Um, but I mean, you know, you just gotta shoot. You know, you gonna miss some, but you know, you're not gonna make them unless you take them. So. You also seem like this is kind of a question for all you guys. You know, for all the highlight reel plays and stuff in an all-star game like this, there was a lot of focus on you know playing solid, lockdown man defense and such. Was that just kind of you know the talent out there in the competition? You guys wanted to make this you know a real solid fundamental game, or how did that all come about? Uh, well, we had some bad blood between the, uh, the Bay and Sac. Uh, you know, who's better, but who's better, who's better. But honestly, you know, the Bay's better. Uh, you know, we got more dogs on our side. Uh, I feel like, you know, we're not thinking anything else but to beat them. And that's what we came out to do. We're not going to let somebody score on us, uh, especially Sac. So. Nathan, when the whole one-on-one -on -one battle started going on, is that when you guys started to pick up your defense and intensity and say, all right, we really want to go out and win this game because we don't want Sack to talk trash? Uh, no, you know, I mean, I encouraged James, you know, because I knew he was he was the better uh, the better guard. Um, <laughs> so I knew that, you know, whatever the outcome was, James was going to always get the upper hand. It seems like a little bad blood is going to be going on between the Bay Area and Sack for the future. Maybe next year be an even tougher game. Yeah, we up yeah. out of here, though, so. <laughs> Well, congrats to you guys on the victory. Appreciate the time you guys had. And Thank you. Appreciate good it. Good luck in the future for you guys. Thanks, sir. You're back. We own them sack boys. Honestly, <laughs> man. Congratulations again, fellas. Thanks, good luck to the next level, boy. Thank you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Good game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, boy. Good luck to you up there. Take care.
care, but...